one very important thing we need to do with our file is suppose user changed the file so i'm actually using the same file but if i upload this file yes this file is showing here but if i open my avatar this there are two files one is the previous one and second is the new one i don't want to have a lot of file if user is keep changing daily all the files so what i need to do when user change the file we need to first check if there is any other file available remove the old one and then store the new one okay so let's remove that one and now open the avatar controller here we say that okay we have to upload a new file to the user and then we are updating the user avatar path but before updating first we need to check if user is already having any um, uh, avatar or not so if request user so remember we can either use the auth user or we can use the request user so i'm just using the request user if we have the request user avatar then i need to remove it but how do i remove it for that let's once again go and search for delete on this file storage so here we are going to use a very nice feature of laravel called storage facade this storage facade can be used to do anything with the file so we can now delete the file with storage and delete and providing the file name is it going to work let's see now so here i say storage make sure it is imported at the top and then we say hey delete now what if we want to pass the avatar field here so i can yes say something like this but i don't want to repeat myself so i say old avatar and on this if statement i am yes checking for avatar but if it is available i will add it in the old avatar variable and i can paste it here so this is going to remove the old avatar so let's try and store another one and it should be deleted but it's not so what happened so first let's check do we really have the old avatar field here or not so i will choose the file select it and yeah we are giving the old file detail so this is fine everything is good now let's go to the documentation to understand how this works so when you say delete it's just try to find the file inside the storage but you can also define on which disk you are going to look for this file and then delete it so it's very easy because we know we have used the disk called public like this and now it should delete the file so right now if i select and here we just have four files click on save and once again we have the four that means the older one is deleted so what i'm going to do i just go and see what actually the file name is so i can open it in a new tab and it is start with h t m c okay so we just going to use the h t m c and delete all other one and delete so h t m c is there so this is how i can now change the file and it should be removed h t m c is now removed and we have the new one wow that is so amazing to see that we will be able to use the storage facade to delete the file hmm this is really nice but can we use the storage facade to do something more yes you can actually create some files or you find the directory you can create the directory and obviously you can store the file so we can see that if we go at the top here we have put file now with the put file you provide the directory 
and the real content for the file okay so there should be some other things put file photos and the file this is actually the name and then the content and finally the disk if you don't want to provide the disk at the beginning okay so let's try this one put file we will go here and then we will say path is equal to storage then we provide the disk it's uh, good always provide the disk and then we say put and when we do the put let's see what we have inside this put so inside the put we are giving first the path second the contents okay so content is going to be the request a file called avatar and the path is going to be since we have already defined the public it has to be avatars okay let's see what we are getting in the path when we try to upload it from this storage facade okay so let's go click save and once again we are getting the path wow that's so easy so if this is working i can see that it should be available so i remove the temporary one and try to reload and select the file once again click on save it is available and you can see file is changed and it is showing here that means everything is working absolutely fine so in this way yes this is uh, uh, like you have to use the storage disk kind of things but i believe this is more uh, you can say stable one instead of file request file storage because this maybe we can forget but this we never going to forget okay so this is the way you can use the storage facade to not only just delete but also to store any file or any image great